Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Yorick, the Shepherd of Lost Souls. By Shadow Isle standards, Yorick's a pretty good guy. The former monk just wants to free the souls who have spent a millennium trapped in the black mists of the Isles, and he's willing to do some bad things to carry out his holy mission. Yorick carries the burden of a thousand condemned souls swirling infinitely in the ghoulish cape on his back. The Shepherd uses these lost spirits to fight anyone who gets in his way. They may not like it, but Yorick doesn't give a damn. He'll do whatever it takes to win, even if it means he's got to bring a little bit of hell along with him. Our souls are a small price to pay to cleanse this land. Yorick's passive is Shepherd of Souls. Whenever an enemy minion or neutral monster dies near Yorick, they'll occasionally leave behind a grave. Enemy champs that die near Yorick always leave one. Graves last until Yorick moves away. Now what do graves do, you ask? Well, heads up, it's about to get spooky. Yorick's Q gives him access to two separate abilities, Last Rites and Awakening. Last Rites empowers the Shepherd's next basic attack, causing it to deal bonus damage and restore a little health. If Yorick is below half health, the healing effect is double. If Last Rites kills any target, a grave is created. If there are at least three graves nearby and Last Rites is on cooldown, Yorick can cast Awakening to raise Mistwalkers from the nearby graves. Mistwalkers basically act like nasty little minions, although you can only have up to four of them at once in your undead entourage, and they die if they roam too far from Yorick. Also, none of the graves can have a cigar. If Yorick wants to win early trades in lane, he's gotta wait until he's planted a proper cemetery before going in. Here, Aurelia screws up by hanging too close to Yorick's graves. When the Mistwalkers rise, Yorick follows them in to deal additional damage and recover some lost health, earning an easy advantage. Yorick's W is Dark Procession. The Shepherd yanks a bundle of corpses straight from the earth, forming a wall of rotting flesh that encircles a target area. The wall decomposes on its own after a few seconds, but can also be destroyed by enemy base attacks, whether they're trapped or not. Yorick and his allies can freely pass through the Dark Procession. When you need to lock down a key target or get away from the living, a big ring of coagulated corpses is just the thing you need. Here, Yorick aims Dark Procession right on top of himself to create a cage that only he can escape from. Unlike Kled, Yorick doesn't need a rope to make a bear trap. Yorick's E is Morning Mist. When cast, Yorick hurls a glob of mist that damages and slows enemies. Yorick gets a movement speed bonus when moving toward enemies marked by the mist, but the ability's true power is that it's the one way you can direct the actions of the otherwise dumb mist walkers. Your walkers gain movement speed and leap toward mist-soaked targets, harassing them until their bloody end. When you need to stick to a target, a little dab of mist can help clog up your lane opponent's wheels. The Blood Mage almost made it out of this trade, but the mist helped the Shepherd take Vlad's health bar down to the red where it belongs. Yorick's ultimate is Eulogy of the Isles. Yorick summons the Maiden of the Mist, and at higher ranks, she'll bring some Mistwalkers with her. The Maiden moves and attacks on her own, pushing down the lane and immediately raising any enemies that die near her as Mistwalkers. The Maiden disappears whenever Yorick dies, but unlike Mistwalkers, she doesn't have to stay near him to stay alive. When Yorick attacks the Maiden's target, he'll deal bonus magic damage based on the enemy's maximum health. If the Shepherd gets into a fight within earshot of the Maiden, though, she will be smart enough to follow and lend him a helping hand. The bonus damage granted by the Maiden makes her scary strong in one-on-one -on -one duels. Here, Yorick doesn't need to wait for more grace before starting the fight. Instead, he busts out his pretty little lady friend and goes straight for the kill. The spectral duo stood united, giving Shen no time to do the same.
When Yorick goes in for a trade, it's best if he brings a swarm with him. Here, Yorick waits until he has a maximum four graves up, then unleashes a dark procession and awakens his ghoul army the moment Gangplank steps up for some minions. With the Saltwater Scourge trapped in the fight, Yorick sicks his undead buddies on him using a well-aimed spray of Morning Mist. When laning, Yorick has very specific windows of opportunity to make strong trades, and misusing that opportunity can leave him very vulnerable. The mean old monk is in position for a strong play here, but he missed his E, causing his walkers to ignore the Grand Duelist. Fiora wisely takes this opportunity to pick off the missed walkers, leaving Yorick's schedule wide open for a fencing lesson. You know what they say, good fencing makes good neighbors. Yorick is better than just about anyone when you need to press an advantage after a team fight. Here, Yorick saves his ultimate until after his team's cleared out the bad guys, then summons the Maiden so her army can tank the first four turret shots. Thanks to the Maiden's passive, the defending wave of enemy minions winds up transforming into Yorick's minion wave. With a whole new wave of tower tanking ghoulies at their side, the Shepherd's team blows through the inhibitor. In teamfights, Yorick is too slow to be a diver, so he's better off hanging back to peel for his carries. Here, Yorick wisely retreats to deal with the cold-hearted ladies who have flanked in behind him. He turns to help out his backline, quickly delivering Fiora her last rites. As soon as Dark Procession comes off cooldown, Yorick uses it to lock down the overfed Ash, who quickly eats a face full of boomerang blades. Shoulda ducked. Yorick doesn't actually have to stay in a lane in order to split push it. Here, Yorick sees folks moving toward Baron, so he drops Big Mama Maiden in bot lane and sends her on her merry way. She refreshes her army of Mistwalk and Amigos every time the squad slays an enemy minion, so soon she has a nasty pile of friends heading straight for the bot lane inhibitor. But meanwhile, Yorick is present and ready for a pool party in the topside river. This forces the other team to either give up Baron entirely or hope they can win the team fight before the Maiden takes everything in the bot lane. In the end, Yorick's team wins on both fronts, and the Shepherd gets to return to his flock and win the game. Thanks for tuning in to the York Champion Spotlight. Click the links below to unleash an unfathomable darkness that destroys the entire world.